Okay, so we're going to look at how to create some dynamic URLs. So I've created a new page called Blog Summary, not Blog Summary, so I view blog. And at the moment, it's not doing anything exciting at all. It's literally just printing some text out. Okay, so nothing exciting there. Um, then what uh, I ha I'm going to do is I'm going to adapt this uh, URL here. Um, but before I do that, I need to create a new route. Now, because I'm going to use um, this list in more than one place, I've taken it out of um, this blog page and I've pasted it as a global figure. Now, I'm fully aware that global variables are, are, are not necessarily something you should do on a regular basis, but just for simplicity, um, I'm just going to do it. So I've also added this ID field to each blog. Now, I'm going to use that later on to identify which blog's being displayed and display the correct uh, content, okay? IDs are just easier to use than uh, maybe titles or even content is. So that is now outside the function. And inside my blog page, I've just made it global. Okay, so global blog list. And I'm going to do the same in this one. So global blog list. Now, in this app route, okay, so like before, I've got view blog, and then I've got view blog, and also in the view summary, I will put view blog here in a moment. But there is a subtle difference. If you notice, I've now got blog ID in angle brackets. Now, this is a dynamic URL because that number will change based on what number I pass through. And it's going to be based on which blog we want to see the data of. I'm going to use method equals post and get um, just, to, just kind of keep it working. Um, to be honest with you, I've, I've not tried it without, so I might try it without, see if that makes a difference. Um, I was having a few issues earlier on uh, before I did this video, so we shall see. Anyway. So I'm going to view the blog. So again, I'm not going to do anything with it yet. Um, but the URL, this one um, is going to look slightly differently. So let's put this back in to the blog summary and in here. So this bit is not different, obviously. But I've put a comma now, and I've got blog ID equals b.id. So this blog ID matches this here. And this here okay so this is a dynamic thing you notice now I've now got a parameter to this function view blog okay so what's going to happen is this is going to be a number now one two three whatever blog we're looking for it's going to refer to these and when I generate the URL this parameter blog ID is going to equal the ID from uh, the dictionary Okay, so like got B dot title and B dot uh, content, we've now got B dot ID. Okay, so if I save that and run it, let's see what happens. Let's see if the, um, the that post stuff was actually necessary. That's fine. So I click on one of these, and can you see it's got view blog, but it's got slash one. If we go back to this one, we've got view blog slash two. Can you notice that number is changing? So that's a dynamic part. Okay, so those links are being generated by this part here, this dynamic part here. And that's being passed through into Flask through this kind of uh, dynamic uh, template here. Okay, that's coming through as a parameter in here, which I could then do something with uh, later. So the next thing I'm going to look at was how do I use this ID to make a custom title and content.